In this video, you will learn how to create a stock take file to count your warehouse stock and import it into Neato to update your stock levels. Start by creating your stock take file. In your Neato control panel, navigate to Settings and Tools and choose Export Data. Click the Perform Complex Export button and choose Start Data Export Wizard. Enter a name for your file and click the Continue to Next Step button. Click the Add New Field to File button. Choose Product Data and then SKU from the drop down menus. You can add more fields that will help you and your staff identify the stock they need to count. Name, brand, item specifics, and barcode are recommended. If you use a pick zone, add it as well as it helps split the file up amongst the people who are doing the counting. When you've added all your fields, click Continue to Next Step. You can now select the filters for your stock take file. Select Active Products as inactive products can't be included in a stock take. Also make sure that parent products aren't included by deselecting the Has Child Product option. Then click the Continue to Next Step button. Choose Local URL in the Send Export File to drop-down menu and click Export Now. You'll be given a process URL and a link to download the file once it's created. Click the process URL and in the new window that opens, click the Run Now button. Once the process has completed, download the CSV file from the URL. In your spreadsheet, add a column for the stock count. You can now split it up for different staff to count different stock and then enter the counts for your products. Once your stock is counted, you can import the CSV file into your Neato control panel. Navigate to Stock Control and select Stock Take. Click the Import Completed Stock Takes button. Drag and drop or click to browse and upload your file. You can choose to use an existing mapping template, create a new mapping template, or do a one-off import for your file. For this video, we'll make a new template and then click Next. Choose a name for your stock take. You can select a field from your file, set a static value, or use the default warehouse location and time of the stock take import. Then map the location or warehouse that this stock take is for. Again, you can select a field from your file or enter a static value if the file is for just the one warehouse. Choose how products will be identified between your file and Neato by mapping a product identifier to a field in your file. In this case, we're using the product SKU. Finally, map the column that has the counted stock amounts. Click the Save Mapping button and then click Next. Your file will be validated for errors and any errors with your information will tell you the row in the file that needs to be fixed. You can then correct your mapping or file and validate the file again. When your file validates successfully, you'll see how many rows will be imported and stock takes made. Individual stock takes are limited to 2,000 products, but you can import up to 10,000 per file. Click the Confirm and Import button. Your file will be imported, stock levels updated, and you can then click on the stock takes to see the results.